Greetings, brethren. This is Emmanuel Fernandez with Biblical Science. Uh, God put it on my heart to do this video. It was not my intent to do this video. But like I said, there's no I. Only intent is the will of God. We need to get this I out of our language. There's no I, He. God put it on my heart. You talk like that. God put it on my heart to do this. God put it on my heart to do that. Let's talk. If you're saved, I'm just saying, yeah, you might have meant well. When you're saved, your the way you use words is different. Don't tell me it is that your language is different. I'm still speaking English, but the way I use it. There's the devil's language of English and there's the God's language of English. Yo, what up? Selfie. Alright? Devil's language. Corrupt, making black guys white, white guys black. Uh homosexuals, no such thing. That's the word made up. So, it's a sodomite. But yeah, devil's language. I, I speak bib I'm saying Speak biblically like they used to speak in the 1900s. This is how they used to speak. It's not homosexual, sodomite. When you're saved, you understand. So God put on my heart to talk about the Antichrist. Who is he? Where he comes from? Who I think he will be in the in the, in the false prophet? Who his race is going to be? And uh, so forth. A lot of people saying it's Obama. It's not Obama. Do I even need to say it's not Obama? Uh, for the... The Antichrist is going to be Jewish. Is not Jewish. The the prophet, the false prophet, is going to be Jewish. And all this trash. Assyrian Chuck Missile even says that he's the reason why I'm a pre-tribber. It's really God, but God put it on his heart to put it on my heart. That's how God works with His Christ. Like internet puts it on Chuck Missile heart to put it on my heart for God to put it on my heart to obey the truth that's pre-trib. But he he thinks it's Assyrian from Middle East. No, no. Jesuit, I'm not saying he's a Jesuit quasar, but that's Jesuit, uh, Jesuit, Jesuitical thinking. No. The Antichrist is the final Pope of Rome. Could it be this Antichrist? Depends if he signs that treaty or enforces that treaty with Israel. Depends. I'm going to say no. This has nothing to do, I'm not going to say, okay, you don't believe me when I'm saying you're not saved. No. My job is not to tell you the truth of Christ. My job, a Christian should be a truth teller, period. I don't care how minuscule truth it is. If it's truth, any little truth is big to God. I could be told, I told you about heck, what that word means. My flesh, I said, that's not really important. To God is everything. A Christian is a truth terrorist. That's what a Christian is. He's a terrorist because he's the enemy of the world. I'm a truth terrorist. So, this says it's not salvation based. I believe it's in the. He's a Syrian, so that means I'm not saved. No, that means you're misled. I'm gonna tell you what it is scripturally speaking. He's the final pope of Rome. Do I think this pope is the final pope, the Antichrist? No. Here's why. Jesuits like to uh, pervert uh, the Bible. You know, Jesus Christ has the keys that he's gonna give to Peter, but he hasn't given it to him yet. But the uh, Roman Catholic Church says you already given to them. They like to add to the book when they says, "Do not add or subtract from the book; you'll be in danger of hellfire." No, no. Uh, Peter's the first pope of Rome. You know that? Don't tell me I don't know. I used to go to St. Peter's <laughs> in Baldwin Street. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. St. Peter's, and it's the keys. Which is the Pope keys? Spiritual and temporal. That's the seal of the, ch the school I went to, St. Peter's School in Baldwin. Shout out to anybody from St. Peter's watching this. Small world. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they, they say St. Peter's, if you're a devout Catholic, not an atheist Catholic, atheistic Catholic, you know St. Peter's the first a pope. No, that's trash. That's the reason I don't think Francis is the final Antichrist, because I, I believe the final Antichrist is going to be the Pope of Rome. His name is going to be called Peter. That soul is above, is below. Full circle. That was all about full circle. Let's go full circle. I think that's of the devil. He's gone full circle now. Begins with Peter, it'll end with Peter. His name's gonna be called. Yeah, I know you guys are thinking Malachi Martin. That's yeah, that's why I get it from that. I believe that. I'm saying, don't call me a heretic. I'm not saying you're not saved. I'm just saying, I'm practicing. I'm demonstrating my discernment. He's gonna be called Peter. Uns well, is he alive? You better believe he's already alive today. The devil's no joke. He knows he's on a God's timetable. See, the devil's the most powerful beings created. Pop, he can destroy you like this. Look what he's doing to Ken Oven. No repentance gospel. 
But yet, even he has, he know he knows better. He has to yield to God's timetable. So of course, the Antichrist is alive today. I know I have a short window. That devil's saying, "I gotta hurry up." As soon as the body of Christ goes, let God send that strong delusion. I think it's gonna be like an alien abduction, saying we all got abducted. Is that alien propaganda? I'm tying it in. Movies. This is why I believe when when God says He'll send you a strong delusion. When people start disappearing all at once, the rapture, the devil to his propaganda. Oh, they got this is my idea conjecture. Uh, people got people's getting abducted everywhere. Alien abduction, which is the rapture, body of Christ. Alien abduction. God will still in a strong delusion. You bet you will. He's gonna make us believe that. And then the devil comes with his hand of Christ. Not the devil. Jesus Christ unleashes it, opens the seal. The devil doesn't do nothing. He's restrained. He's a pit bull on a leash. Tribulation, he lets go of that leash. Run wild. That's how it is. You know, he's not going like this. He's like this. He's a chihuahua to God. He's a pit bull. He's a ferocious animal to you. To God, he's just a chihuahua. Little dog. I used to have a chihuahua on the leash. Chihuahua's it's real small. That's what the devil is to God. And then he's going to let him go on you. So... I believe the the Antichrist is going to be the final Pope of Rome. No, I know because it's in Revelation. Seven hills. Rome was built on seven hills. Not not Jerusalem, Tex Mars. The Jews run everything. He has a documentary out. Uh, Obama's a Rothschild's choice, which is our Jewish Jews, new Jews this. No. Rome was built on seven hills. You be arrayed and decked with purple, scarlet, gold. Tell me the Pope doesn't dress like that now. He'll be a great world leader. The Pope's a great world leader. Everybody will look to him as a man of peace. The Pope's a man of peace. He's not for war when secretly he's behind it. Open but false, secret but true. He's against the war. Right now, they're foaming in the war. As soon as the God gives them the go-ahead. In my God's province. Yeah, he's the final Pope of Rome. I believe his way, I don't know. I believe his name's going to be Peter. Because the first Pope was Peter, right? Which it wasn't as Jesuit trash. Petros Romanus, Peter the Roman. He's going to sign. I'm just saying this because I know I'm not going to be here. This is for your unsaved believers. This is what you got. I'm a news reporter. Remember, news on TV is fake. This is really for unbelievers. Can anybody be edified? Absolutely. Since I know I'm not going to be here, I'm going to forecast the news. I'm a weather forecaster. Here's what you guys got coming. Bad times for you unbelievers. Here's what's going to happen. Let me break it down for you. So there's that slang coming up. We talk like a newscaster, like a weatherman. Because the weather, oh, we're going to have sunny skies. No. I predict the dark days are coming. Night. Darkness. Here's what's going to happen. Uh, where should I begin? It's a tough thing. The body of Christ is gone. Light cannot exist with dark. The vicar of Christ cannot exist while the false Christ is here on earth. Impossible. Scientifically impossible. It will be gone. Because he's going to unleash the Antichrist. He's going to open that seal, Jesus Christ. So here's what's going to happen. In chronological order. These timelines, especially in Hovind's book, I saw his timeline is all gobbled up. Is mine going to be wrong? I guarantee it's going to be wrong. But I want to, you want to get the gist of what I'm saying. You know, the devil's the author of confusion. The soccer eyes vulnerable of a timeline. Well, first, what's got to happen? Body of Christ has to be out of here. He will be led out of the way, and then the wicked shall be revealed. Look up, not out for the Antichrist. Look up for your redemption draws nigh, near. And they twist those words. No, it doesn't mean that. It means this. Yeah, go ahead. Body of Christ is out of here. Man, I'm talking as a news forecaster, forecasting the weather to you unbelievers. Can believers. Go ahead and identify. Absolutely. Body of Christ is gone. Okay. I'm opening up the seal. Jesus Christ. Pope. The final Pope of Rome is usher. Wolves is anarchy with World War Three and everything. Don't worry. I'll bring everybody to peace. That's what my New Age movement is all about. My cat. That's the worry. These prosperity features. Everything fits together. Everything connects. Alex Jones saying we got to fight this. Fight, fight, fight. This. You fight something, you strengthen it if it's in the flesh. You ever heard of that? What you fight, you strengthen. If it's in the flesh, you strengthen. You give him the devil power. Problem, reaction, solution. This is a solution. The Antichrist. So he comes. World War III. 
Dollar Crash Calamity. He ends the world. This guy's a man of peace. Don't worry. Dollar Crash. New symbol. Cash to society. Receive the mark. Remember, he's the, uh, the, the, the false prophet. In the meantime, he's prophesizing all this before it happens. The Jewish prophet. The, the beast. The lamb beast. In Revelation. Oh, he's not biblical. Yes, I am. No, he's biblical. He's going to bring the world together. That's what all this unity is. Pastor Steve Anderson with the globe. George Olsen with the globe in the background. That's what this all this unity is all about. Everybody come together. We are one. We are the world. That's what this is all about. Come together in peace. This is not a religion. The wage is not a religion now. It's a way just coming in peace. Come on, can we all just get along? Because these hate speech Christians. Let's kill them all. Okay, we're doing this for God. Okay, we're the children. The children of the dark don't call themselves the children of the light. We're the children of the light. When the reader of the dark. So yeah, the, the the wrath of the lamb, the 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 lamb, the Jewish prophets prophesying all this puts the end to the war. Mark of Beast isn't happy yet. They're gonna he's gonna get killed by a sword wound, a sword wound. Chopped down. That's what the trees is about. Chop that tree down. He's gonna get chopped down by a sword wound. He's gonna die dead. Sounds familiar? Now you're gonna say what his relation to you. Sure, you know what I'm talking about. He's dead. Three uh, Jewish said, "Don't worry, he's gonna come back." Three three days, he's gonna come back. He's dead, dead and buried. Look at him again. He's rising up, rise of the dead. Now he is the devil. He's not possessed by the devil. He is the devil, just like Christ, not possessed by God. He is God manifested the flesh. Well, this is the devil manifested in the flesh. He's the Antichrist. That's what Christ, Antichrist means, false Christ. Resurrected. And they, like, who kills them? I believe it's the Jews. Remember, it's all the Jews. Jews kill the Antichrist. Get them. Holocaust. Holocaust these people. Quick. Put all these FEMA camps. Kill all these Jews. They killed your Messiah. That that was a false Christ. That, that first. He's just a prophet. Isn't it saying in the Quran, Jesus Christ is a prophet? He's just a man? This is the Christ. It kills your Christ. Rises up. He is the devil. He's not possessed by the devil. Get your your, your etymology correct. Your words. He's not possessed. Being possessed and is two different things. You're saying Jesus Christ is possessed by God? Then he's a man. He is God. And Christ is the devil. Satan. Encased in flesh. Just like the, the Pope now says he is Christ. No, I'm not governed by Christ. I am Christ in the flesh. He raises up. He's the devil in the flesh. Abomination of desolation. Destroys the temple. Rebuilds the third Hebrew temple with a statue. Everyone who doesn't worship the statue, this is what these iPhones and connection of the technology in this YouTube. He'll know. Remember, the devil wants to be omniscient. Whoever's not worshiping that statue, worshiping the... He, I think I might come like this, like... Receiving coming entrance from the Pope. Worship? Yes or no? Whoever says no, does not... It'll be televised. Like, it'll be, it'll be on CNN. He'll be talking. You refuse to broadcast on your phone. Do you know we got technology? The president got technology that if he wants any medium I'm watching, TV, internet, you know Obama can just jack in and talk. I was watching ESPN. Out of nowhere, a warning come. I was like, does that happen? Yeah, but weather advisory. This was not a weather advisory. What this is? Martial law? Now we are in the state of immersion. That's what's going to happen. That's going to, he's going to jack in. Whatever thing you watching over the internet or TV, the Pope, the finance has a jack in worship. He'll know if you turn off the TV. He'll know you turn off your iPhone. Homeland Security's at your door. Why you're not worshiping this Antichrist? Beheading. And whoever takes the beheading are the tribulation saints. They're saved. Who don't? You're fine. Receive the mark of the beast, though. How are you gonna provide for your family? So yeah, he's gonna be praised to be worshipped. That's the, uh, remember, 70 weeks, seven years. The first three years is him coming to power. He's not, he's not, he's a man. Don't get it twisted. Sorry. He's a man. First three years, three and a half years, he's a man. People say it's a system. I think it's both. Antichrist is a system. We're in it right now. Ushering him for the Antichrist. We're going to want for him to come here. I'm talking about unbelievers. You're going to want him to come. He's a man. He is Satan when he after after he is killed. Three years is that World War Three, three and a half years. Abomination, destination is the midpoint. Rebuilds the 
after he gets risen up, he has to look at him. He rides from death. He was dead three years. Now he's Satan. He's no longer a man. He is Satan. Still the Antichrist, but he's Satan. Before he was maybe possessed by the devil, now he is a devil. Possessed is. Big difference. God doesn't love. He is love. Know the difference. Etymology. How I use these words. Words. Everything is the power of words. Uh, he is the devil. Now, yeah, this has nothing to do with salvation. This is not salvation based. I'm just testing out my own discernment. It's a lot of confusion. The devil's author of confusion, not God. He's clearly the he, he, in, he's the Antichrist, but to everyone else, he's hit, especially to the state of Israel. Remember, same, same week of Daniel, directed, of course, it's for everyone, but it's directed as Jews. Look, false prophet, your Messiah. He's risen from the dead. He got killed by a Jew, by the way. Get him. See, all these Jews are sinning around Satan. He's invoking scripture. Oh, yeah, I believe he'll be a slick tongued devil, the false prophet. He'll be throwing scripture all over the place. Oh, King James scripture, all the devil can quote scripture if it fits his needs. You gotta kill all these Jews. The last three and a half years, his were the, the, my, I believe, this is not the popular belief. They believe the whole seven years is Jacob's struggle. To a degree, but specifically the last half is all about Israel. Oh yeah, the whole world is affected, but it's Israel. Last three and a half years, could be wrong. I mean, I'm in the middle of that, like I said, discernment. You eat the meat, spit out the bones. If you don't, you choke on the bones. But the last three and a half years is Jacob's trouble, in my opinion. That's con conjecture. I'm not going to be dogmatic. The only one that's dogmatic, this is the way it is. This is the way it is. is Jesus Christ. He's the only man that can be dogmatic to me. Don't you be dogmatic to me. Or I'm invoking scripture. Well, let God invoke, convict me. You don't convict me. <clears throat> Holy Ghost convicts me. <clears throat> it's like, I, I'm not convicting you. The Holy Ghost will convict you when what I'm saying is true. Don't care for being God now. It's very easy to be God. <clears throat> you convict some, you don't convict some. Holy Ghost in you convicts the Holy Ghost in the other person. That's how it works. So, <clears throat> sorry to get off track. Uh, he's risen. Jewish prophets building them up. Building, 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 building. Stealing your energy. Remember everything? Thoughts? Remember I told you thoughts is energy? All your, all your thoughts. Do you know all this about 9 11? This is a scientific fact. <clears throat> Do you know those spikes in seismic readings when the towers fell? That's the world anguish. Do you know our thoughts are literally can be manifested? Can be measured? Just saying. This is going to be off the charts. This is going to make 9 11 look like nothing. But in a good way. Oh, he's here. Praise God. Just like when Obama was president. The devil's taking the energy. Ah, yes. Thank you. Your energy feeds the devil. God feeds you. But your energy feeds the devil. Whether you think it's good or not. It, devil discerns what it is. He knows this is not good for him. That's why he's going to probably crash his computer if this is the will of God. He doesn't want me to say this. So, yeah, he's going to say worship the beast. Who doesn't? Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm here to help you. This is Diana Christ speaking, which is really the devil. Case in flesh. I ended this world. Remember, good works. I have to be Diana Christ. He's going to show signs of wonders, fire from heaven, all that. Can deceive the very elect. Oh, there's a case. There's a case. The people are going to be there during the tribulation. No. The elects are getting deceived right now. You're probably elect. You probably got deceived by posts. Tribus. Read the Bible, literally. No, don't use that scripture as deceive very elect. That's the, some people use that. Oh, look here. See? You're going to be, the saved's going to be in the time of Jacob Trump. No. We get deceived by the devil every day. The elect. Every day, he's a master. He's the master, not a servant. He's a master. Author of confusion. Father of lies. He told the first lie to Eve. He told 99% truth, 1% lie. The lie is the one that sends you to hell. So, yeah, Jacob's trouble. He's going to say, don't want to take away everybody. Dollars crash. Remember, the dollars are reserve currency. It crashes. Everyone's going to crash by design. Are we going to use for currency? No, take this mark. That mark could be anything. I'm not going to say it's going to be 666. It could be anything. To me, remember the devil's deception. Me, it's a friendly thing. It could be a smiley face. I don't know. I think it might be that. A new age symbol. A heart. Remember, he loves you. Evil people will not come in the name of hate. They're not morons. That's what bad people do. They'll come in the name of love.
I mean, seeing all these signs, love is love. Not God is love, which is absolute. Love is love, which is relative. Love is what. I love my husband. I'm a man. I love my husband. Why can't you let me marry him? Why are you being a hate speech? You know, see why these Christians had it? They're dead. You see? Why are you. If a woman loves another woman, let her get married. Why are you being a dissenter, uh, causing ruckus? And then they throw scripture. God's love. Behead this guy. There'll be mass beheadings. People don't accept. It's not just people who don't accept the mark. Beheadings going everywhere. Beheading is if you don't worship them. You don't worship, you get beheaded. Forget the mark. But if you want to buy a cell, you need the mark. Don't get me wrong. That you need. So people that don't take the mark are the tribulation saints. Those are the ones that they endure to the end. They'll be saved. That's what it's talking about. Not me. Stop being a heretic. A heresy. They don't. But but that's a work. But provided they still have to believe and repent, which they can't buy on their own flesh. God has to have faith and repentance. And you do the good. I already explained this in my previous video, which I believe is uh, Blessed Hope, the second one. Uh, I don't know what video it is, but I explain it. I'm not going to tell you the video. I'm going to make you watch everything. Watch everything. But I explain this that, in a nutshell, yes, yes, my salvation, pre trib, is not work salvation. 100% of the Lord. Make no bones about it to you unsaved people. In the tri tribulation, in the 70 week of Daniel, there is one work that God enables you to do. Faith and repentance. Do not take that mark. Take that mark, you're not saved. Take that beheading, then you're saved. This is for the tribulation saints. I'm not going to be here. There's no enduring to the end to the sa be saved. That's work salvation. Enduring. Work. I already say that, I'm not going to repeat it. Anyways, uh, in the times of uh, uh, Jacob's sorrow, those who don't, those who receive the mark are doomed. That's it. Going to hell. Those who don't. Just because you don't receive the mark, I'm not saying you're saved. Do not twist my words. Just because you don't receive the mark, I'm not saying you're saved. If you don't receive the mark and you have faith and repentance and you don't receive the mark, yes, you are saved. That At that time, moment right there. Tribulation saints. I had no one talking about them. So, let me, like I said, I'm talking as a forecaster. That happens um, at the end of the 70 week. Remember, Israel does not get destroyed. I told you, God will, the world will be in fire everywhere, but Israel will not be destroyed. It'll come near to destruction. God pulls his wrath. Here's where the deception, people getting mixed up. Call it Battle Armageddon or Wrath of God, but don't call it Second Coming. I'm talking about at this point in time. I'm talking about after the seven years. I'm talking chronologically. One, two, three, four, five, six. After the seven years. Um, it's going to be uh, the wrath of God being pulled out. But according to you post tribbers no. Jesus Christ is going to come down, get his bride, go back up, supper to the Lamb, then come back for his second coming. That's what you guys are saying. Not me. You guys are saying that by you being post trib Destroying the blessed hope. He's going to post trib He's going to come down, take his bride, go back up. God pulls his wrath. Supper of the Lamb. That's gonna not gonna be a supper. Brief lunch, guys. We gotta hurry up. Back down. Second come in. Establish king. No. This is how it's gonna go down. Be sorry, sorry for speaking slang. But this is how it's gonna happen. Uh seven years is over. I'm at the at the end of seven years. Follow me. I know this is this is why I think God's people say God does everything, then why do we get a reward? Here's why you have to labor. I'm tired, I'm hungry, the flesh is weak. He's going to make you do something. You got to earn your reward. You post trip and say, hey, it's a crown. But he, he didn't. Of course he's going to come. He has to come at this time. But according to you guys, you get a crown anyway. Here you go. God, God's a socialist. You know what socialism is? Socialism. I'm unemployed. Let this guy that's a millionaire. Worked hard for his money. Yielding to God. Give it to me in unemployment. Are you saying this sin? Absolutely. Unemployment is a sin. Trust in God that will provide for me. I haven't taken unemployment in my life. Or I know people that have. That's socialism. God's not giving you an award unless you earned it through his power. So that's what you guys are saying. Yeah, give him a crown. No. I got my crown because I, I was sanctified prior to sending week a day. So, yeah. Uh, God's wrath is pulled on the world to prevent devil from 
really destroying the state of Israel, because like I said, they will be, some people debate how much of Israel is saved, but they will be undoubtedly saved, most of them. Paul is bulls of wrath, seven bulls, seven judgments. That seal's broken. Some say it's three years, whatever. I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not saying because I don't think that's that, the length is important for me. The millennial kingdom is. I'll get to that. Uh, so after the seven years, bowls of wrath, wrath of God, Armageddon. Go ahead, call that. And Jesus Christ, remember, everything's in threes. Jesus Christ came as a servant first. He was a servant of God. And, and a servant, servant and a prophet. Uh, he was serving man. Oh, he's a heretic. Yes, he did serve man as he was serving man as describing how you're supposed to serve God, being humble, washing the feet of the disciples. I'm saying he was serving man as showing as a he doesn't serve man because he's God. God doesn't serve man. It's the other way around. I'm just saying he served. He he displayed himself as a servant. He came as a servant. Second time, that's a hope. He's coming as a bride, uh, bridegroom. Come, like, it's a wedding, Jewish wedding. Third time, he's coming as a conqueror. Third time, look out. Oh, in the Bible, this is a second coming that you guys confuse with the blessed hope. This is a second coming. Everybody knows he's here. This is going to be undescribable. How can I describe say I can't, even though the Bible does. A we'll go how the Bible does. Earthquake. He roars like you never heard before. Roars. Makes trying to Rex sound like a kitten. Not a roar you ever heard. Whole world hears him. Comes with his bride. On a white horse. Two-edged sword out of his mouth. Eyes of fire. With wheat riding along beside him. He's cleaning up. The father's bowling out the poles of wrath. Think of him as a janitor. I hate to degrade Christ like that. I'm just using the symbol. He's cleaning everything up so the world can be re restored. He throws, don't forget, he throws the Antichrist. I don't think he's the devil. Maybe he's put, yeah, he's the, yeah, he's the devil, the Antichrist. And the false prophet alive, not dead, alive, while they are still alive, into the lake of fire. And you'll see it. I'll be there to see it in the lake of fire. Judgment is not, wait, Ryan Throw is not here for unbelievers, not yet. By the way, I believe in when you get raptured, you'll get judged for your works right then and there. Great Ryan Throw and judgment is for unsaved people. See, I didn't know that at first. I'm learning just like you. Throws, casts, and a Christ. Lake of fire. False prophet. Lake of fire. The devil. Locked for a thousand years. Do you mean a literal thousand years? Yes, my hermeneutics is on point. Literal a thousand years until he's freed. Why will God free him? I'll get to that. Uh, yeah, he's cleaning up. He rules the world. Jerusalem becomes the world's capital. He rules earthly kingdom. Yes. Or literal. Yes. On the seat of... Remember, he's not only the son of God. He's the son of man. You guys forget that. He's all man. Son, who's his father from talking on the human side? There's no side. It's just, he's all you, he's all, not a human, he's a, he's a monster. But he's, he's all, he's all God and all man. He's a, he's a man. So he sits, he's the son of David. Don't tell me the Bible doesn't call Jesus Christ the son of David. Not can want to debate me. Ten verses. Son of David. He's a son of David. He's sitting on the Davidic throne. He has no throne. Uh, I hear people say he has a throne. The, there's a throne of his father, and he's sitting in heaven right now, waiting to make his enemies a footstool. Now he has a throne. It's his. He's going to sit on his, his father, David, son of David, Davidic throne, ruling from Jerusalem with a rod of iron for a thousand years. Depending on your works, you will rule with him. You'll be a king. Remember, I told you, you're not the king. You're a king. You'll be a partaker. Reign with Christ for a thousand years. After a thousand years is up, the devil will be loosened. Why would God let go of the devil? Maybe to prove once and for all we're totally depraved. Maybe. Just a thought. After all this, you bring the tempter back. You'll still go back into sin. After all that's happened, that's why he loses the devil. A lot of people don't know that. 
Why does he lose the devil? Saved and unsaved. Why did he lose the devil after a thousand years? I know that's the reason. Remember, you don't earn your salvation. You're totally depraved. You're ultra depraved. Now, we can go debate about who's going to populate it. I believe it's going to be glorified people, the bodies of Christ, and actual man. People that are saved, but they have... They're, not, they're Adam. Remember, Adam, before he fell, he had a glorified body. I believe it will be people with glorified bodies. So after a thousand years is done, they will be the this devil will be loosed out of his prison. Proof that you're you're still depraved. You still fall back to your sinful ways. After all that I teach you, you have no idea. I need to talk about the total depravity. You guys have no idea how depraved we are. Oh, I'm saved. Then you're you're hyper depraved. The total depravity. The ego likes to get a job. Likes to be use, useful. How can you be useful when you're saved? The, your sinful nature is going to do everything to get you into sin. Come on. No, it's okay. This is not a sin. It's okay. That's a sinful nature to a saved person. No, this is not sin. Come on, do this. It's okay. It's, that's how it is. That's how you're a sinful nature. It's a battle inside. It's really no contest because the Holy Ghost. But, but if you're unsaved, this, this is not going inside. If you're unsaved, you're like this. If you're saved, Holy Ghost, which really, you're really all inside the Holy Ghost. It's no battle. But don't get me wrong, you can go sin unto death. So yeah, the devil will be loosed out of his prison. Now the great white throne judgment. I thought, like I said, I don't know everything. I thought the great white throne judgment after the thousand years are for everybody. No. The uh, If you're a saint, you're saved. Tribulation saint. Uh, it might be tribulation. I think the tribulation saint might be at the great white throne. But pre-70th 70, 70 week. You're already judged for your works. You're judged according to your works. Remember, I made a video about 12 judgments. Look at that. And you get a precious stone, a roll. Remember, I told you everybody's not going to be the same role. God's not associates, communists. There'll be someone in roles of authority. That doesn't mean they're bigger than anybody. Just somebody's going to be in the rules of authority. Just because my, my father's, tell my biological father's my father. He's flesh and blood like me. But does he rule over me? You better believe it. He's the Lord of this house. I do what he says. Try to, <laughs> man. I'm totally depraved. But yeah, you get you get, you get your works. This is this I'm talking about. When you get raptured up, you get judged right there. I didn't thought you get judged right there. You get judged right there. Marriage supper. I didn't mention the marriage supper of the lamb. That's where you have the marriage supper of the lamb. When you're done after that, then you come back to the second coming, and then when you're on the millennial kingdom, you rule with Christ, depending on your degrees, how much you yield to the Holy Ghost, in a literal. 1,000 year reign kingdom. And then we have the great right throne of judgment. I believe it will be tribulation saints. Might not be. But part, let me tell you who is it for. Remember, you need to think of God like this. Who is it primarily for? Who is it primarily for? Great right throne of judgment, I believe, is primarily for unsaved people. You get the degree. Remember, don't confuse hell and lake of fire. Do not confuse heaven and new Jerusalem. Okay? People confuse the things that are the same. Use your discernment. Divide the truth in the Bible. When you're dead, you go to hell. You die in your sins, you go to hell. You're dead, you're saved, you're in heaven. I, New Jerusalem does not, it's not yet. Lake of Fire is not yet. Lake of Fire is after the great white throne of judgment for unsaved people. You get the degree of fire. Remember, punishment fits the crime with God. Grandma is not burning in hell like Hitler is. Don't tell me all sin the same. You get the degree of lake of fire. That's what unsaved people. Uh, say, I believe saved people will be there. They won't be judged, but will be there. I'll be the witness. Absolutely. Remember, you we reign with Christ, depending on how, how much you yield you to Him in your walk. And then after the a thousand years is over, you have this for saved people, the New Jerusalem. Remember, I don't hear no one talk about this. Do you know when you're this Totori is not in the Bible? Yes, it is. He who is he who is a Jew inwardly. It's not Christ. He's a Jew outwardly, inwardly. It's talking about you if you're saved. You know you're a spiritual Jew. Oh yeah, glorified body outside, you'll maintain your race. But God does not call it New Jerusalem for nothing. He's not calling New Jerusalem and inwardly your your race. No. Everyone is a Jew. Okay, devil, yeah, you took some of my Jews, you threw them up to hell because I'm not a respect or a person. But New Jerusalem will be popular, popul populated by my Jewish people. 
Okay? The new Jerusalem was going to be all Jews, spiritual Jews. Do you, you know Abraham's your father? I don't hear no one talking about this. Eric Phelps does. I'm talking about majority. You're a spiritual Jew. If you say, he's a Jew inwardly with a circumcised heart. That's why you have affection for the Jews. You see a Jew get killed. It's like, it's like your, your mother when you're unsaved because your mother is, I'm not saying it's a God, but your mother's everything. It's like seeing your mother get killed when you see a Jew killed. You have affection for the Jews because you're one spiritually. That's why it's called the New Jerusalem. Oh, it's talking about Jerusalem on earth. No, it's the New Jerusalem, the heavenly Jerusalem. No, you're talking about allegorically. Heavenly is to describe, you know, Jerusalem on earth. No, no, no. Heavenly. The third heaven. That's where we're going to be after the judgment seat of Christ, after we witness him throwing everybody that's unsaved in the fire. That's the timeline. Now, butcher it all you want. I'm saying, eat the meat, spit out the bones. Probably some bones here. I'm not saying there's no bones. There's bones in every way in this video. The only way there's no bones in this video is if I'm really God. The Bible's all meat, no bones. Anyone that says the Bible has... Okay, that's one contradiction. Then it has all contradictions. Throw it away. The Bible is either 100% true or none. Don't give me 99%, 98%. If the Bible to you is not 100% true, throw it away. 100% true, infallible. Infallible means the truth. 100% truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So yeah, that's the... That's the timeline. Let's go back at it again because now I'm just going to say what's going to happen. I'm not describing uh, the body of Christ. Let's count it. Let's count it down. Body of Christ gets taken up. We get judged. We get judged right there. Marriage supper of the Lamb right there. That's two. So the blessed hope happens first. I'm talking about what happens to believers. I'm believers. I'm not. I'll be here all day. <laughs> I already did. If you follow me, you have to un listen. Play it again. Oh, I didn't get that. Play it again. Stop being lazy. And I have to do a video on being lazy. Boy, I'm lazy. That's a sin. Or oh, willful sin. Whatever sin you want to want. Laziness is sin. Make no bones about it. Uh, but the blessed hope. The marriage supper of the Lamb. Seventy week of Daniel, first three and a half years. Antichrist comes into power. Abomination of desolation. We build the third temple. Rebuilding of the third temple. So the same. Uh, Jacob's trouble. Israel being threatened to be destroyed, fully destroyed. God doesn't let that happen. Jesus Christ doesn't come after that. He already came. We're not coming yet. Second coming is when we're coming. We, body of Christ in him. God's wrath to prevent him from doing that. Jesus Christ, second coming. Cleans up, like I said. Millennial kingdom, thousand year reign. That's eight. Uh, thousand year reign, when we reign from Christ. And then um, after a thousand years, devil loose out of his prison. I don't, you can debate when this is happening, great right through in judgment, maybe that's happening down here. Not getting too specific. There's a lot of nitpickers, cherry pickers out there. I, I am all for being specific, but calm down. Don't overkill. He lose from his prison, great right through in judgment for unbelievers. And, uh, and then New Jerusalem is after New Jerusalem, when is New Jerusalem when we go to New Jerusalem? That's the last step. Anyone that doesn't tell you that, I don't think he's biblically sound. That's the last. The, everything has already happened. The great right tone judgment, that's the last. You're a spiritual Jew. Thousand year reign is done with on the Millennial Kingdom. People's, are, people's in the lake of fire with the devil, with the Antichrist and the false prophet. They're all in the devil. They're on the lake of fire. They all have, they've been judged. They have their degree. Devil's there for a thousand years. He'll be loosed. After that, what happens to the devil? I don't know. I told you, I don't know everything. New Jerusalem. He's probably in dealt. He's probably get, get thrown back. Because remember, first law of thermodynamics. What is the devil? He's a spirit. He's pure energy. He can't be destroyed. He has to go somewhere. So I'll tell you what happens. He gets loosed, tempts people of the Millennial Kingdom, gets thrown back again. Devil's in hell. That's where he goes. For eternity. Remember. 
There's no time in heaven or hell. He's burning. Devil can't be destroyed. I can't be destroyed. You got to go somewhere. Scientific fact. I ain't talking about using biblical. I'm talking about to you non-believers, secular. You have to go somewhere. We rule Christ as a partaker in New Jerusalem, depending on your rank. Remember, soldier for Christ. Everybody's the same, in essence. We're all glorified. We're all in a glorified body with a circumcised heart, being a Jew inwardly, spiritually. Outside, I look like 25 old. Outside, I have my racial distinction. Inside, spiritually, I'm a Jew. That's why it's called the New Jerusalem. Based on the rewards I get, depends if I reign with Christ, reign with Christ, or I just enter his kingdom. We all, oh, enter is the same as reign. Oh, okay. You think he's a socialist? That's why the devil, devil, be it or not, he's, he deceives you. God's not a socialist. The people that's burning the lake of fire, they get exactly what they deserve. Degree. Hitler's not burning in hell like grandma. Devil likes to twist God's maxim. As is, as is, is below, that's below. Lake of fire, so is it above. That's the Baphomet sign. As above, as it is below, above it is below. So if uh, by default, if people in Lake of Fire get exactly what they get deserve, every knee shall bow and confess to them, Lord. Believers or not believers, you go there. That's the funny thing. You get throw, thrown thrown in, in the Lake of Fire when you're burning. You know he's God. Too late. That's the funny thing. Because every knee shall bow and confess them to be Christ. Every Believer or not believer. Dispensation. Who's he talking to? Everyone. I'm going to bow. Confess him as Lord. Everyone. So, if it's the same down there, people get what they deserve. You you think, oh, yeah, New Jerusalem. Everybody's the same. Everybody got equal rewards. Everybody's reigning on Christ. No. Are you saying it's poor people that... They, obviously, there has to be some kind of commerce going up there. Why do I need... Topaz and emeralds in New Jerusalem. Oh yeah, I might need a millennial kingdom because it's it's reconstructed earth. Why do I need jewels, topaz, whatever, emeralds for, for New Jerusalem? Pro commerce. So it's probably be poor people in terms of... I'm just saying people are going to have more than other people in New Jerusalem. Don't tell me everybody's the same. God's not against universal equality. That's a Jesuit maxim. Jesuits live by universal equality. But of course they don't believe. Remember, they push out their propaganda... Outwardly, they believe it. Outwardly. Inwardly, they don't. Open but false, secret but true. The Pope is for uni universal equality. Inwardly, he knows better. <laughs> universal equality. That's a Jesuit maxim. I eat the truth, but I'll feed you the lie. The devil knows better. No. Some would be partakers. Praise God. I hope I'll be a partaker. I reign with them. I might be in a lower level. Am I going to complain? I'm in New Jerusalem. I'm not complaining. There's no, no complaining. In the, uh, here's how New Jerusalem is going to be. Remember what Smith said to Morpheus when he got him strapped in his chair? We made the first matrix perfect, sublime. No suffering at all. People didn't accept the program. Of course they didn't accept the program. Your sinful nature loves to suffer, believe it or not. Sinful nature is created by fear. Of course no one's going to accept that program. They were going to live in peace. Of course, New Age want to make make that false utopia, which is an evil world. World, no. What he's describing, remember, God speaks to in his movies everywhere. What he's describing is New Jerusalem, that perfect place. No fighting, no nothing evil. That's New Jerusalem. No night. You know, there's not gonna be no night in New Jerusalem. Night is a symptom of the of the curse. That's why they call the devil the prince of darkness. No night. Time is of the curse. Eternity. If you're not scared, I pray for you. If you're scared, hallelujah. If you're scared, I put the fear in God. I didn't put the fear in God. The Holy Ghost in me put the fear of God in you. Hallelujah. You're on the road for your heart to be pricked. A godly sorrow. I, I said you have to break down, like cry, but whatever. Then he gives you the gift of faith to believe. You are saved. Salvation is easy. The hard part is knowing that it's easy. You know that? It's hard to get saved. It is in your own flesh. I was like, I can't believe it's this. it was this easy. That's what people in burning hell is going to say to themselves. Remember, in Lake of Fire. Oh, you get... I heard this fallacy. 
You get consumed until your, your sin is done. And then you destroy. No, you relive your sin. Here's what a lake of fire is. You relive your sin. You're thinking about it over, over. Okay, you get you, you finish your, all your sins and it rewinds. Picture watching the same movie 50,000 times and it's in a loop. Your, your mind is in a loop in hell, lake of fire. Every sin you've done, every thought you said, every curse, repeated. That's what lake of fire is. Repeated. I hope this convinced you. Okay. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Amen.